Yeah, there's a Lithuanian van <laughs> in the car park. They just bought food. I think they're planning a terrorist attack. Um, we played at Adam's Bar, which is a really nice place. It was a good gig, everyone was really into it. We'd had a couple of shows cancelled and someone was kind enough to set us up with a last minute replacement show with a band called Jucifer, who I'd never heard of before. But, I don't know, I guess I should have because they've been on tour, solid, for 13 years. So I got the show with Jucifer and another day off we returned to Hungary to a small city called Seged which was really nice and beautiful we spent about I don't know four or five hours about walking around yeah, it was a really out. nice place actually it was a cool place to hang out some cool small shops some nice buildings to see <laughs> show in Seged we moved to Slovenia which is a um, really beautiful country. Um, the first town we came to was a Sajana. And it was really cool actually, it was another underground venue, nice stage space, really friendly promoters and organisers and yeah. everyone was really up for it, sort of high energy which was a nice change from some places where people can be a bit sort of held back and just withdraw whereas they were really sort of up for it and just having a good time which was nice. Yeah, the crowd was amazing, like, after every song people were just shouting probably as loud as they can and the atmosphere was great. Really cool to play gigs like this. just kind of jumping around and having a really good time. He stage dives a couple of times and then his friend sort of carried him around the room. And it was, again, a really cool sort of high energy, people really getting into yeah. a good atmosphere. I guess it was the only show where people were asking to play more and more and more. So we did like two encores. Three. We did three, three encores. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was amazing. And after the third encore, the I just people were asking me to jump into the crowd, so I just t took guitar off, put it on the stage, and yeah, jumped into the crowd. <laughs> so next day we had to drive to Croatia, a city called Rijeka. The road was really, the weather was really foggy. It was really hard to drive, so we were driving like 30 kilometers per hour speed. We were a bit late. When we turned up, it was already dark. It was around like eight, eight thirty, and we could not find the venue anywhere. We asked a few people, and they were like, gave us good directions. We, we followed it. We still couldn't find it. So we called the promoter for like the fifth time to try and find the place, and he gave us more precise directions. And it turned out it was just an old military base that was in the middle of a field in literally nowhere. So behind was, the forest. Yeah, there was no chance that we would have found it without <laughs> sort of direct uh, directions, which was pretty funny. All the gear they had inside, it, it's not for live shows and especially not for metal shows. And a few people told us later it was uh, some kind of building where they have rave parties. 
I think yeah. the system was more geared up for electronic music instead of live shows, so yeah. the sound suffered when trying to mix a band together. But it, we played and it was interesting. So yeah, uh, we met up with the Locracy guys who we started the tour with sort of a, t a short leg around Poland. Was it just Poland? Um, it was Poland and Lithuania. Though Poland and Lithuanian leg. Uh, and uh, the drummer, Stefan, uh, put us up in Vienna for a few days in his flat, which was wicked because it was right in the centre. Yeah. So days where we didn't have shows, it was literally like a five minute walking distance from the centre of Vienna. So we had a really good time walking around, checking it all out seeing the sights. sunny Italy and the first place where we had to play was a venue called Rio Cafe it was a biker place it was a small place it was a funny place for a gig but it worked out well people seemed into it they enjoyed it I played on triggers again which was very funny for the second time the novelty still hasn't worn off that day we were supposed to move on to Rome, but the show was cancelled due to poor organisation again, which kind of sucked. But we spent the day in Verona sightseeing, which yeah. was actually really amazing. Loads of cool things to see, just sort of everywhere you went round the corner there was another exciting thing. <laughs> city and played at the venue called Comunite Chio Vanilla. The place was really cool, the owner and basically all the people who worked in the place and other bands and people who came to see us were really cool. We had a really good time. The atmosphere was really cool, people were really friendly and enjoyed the show and uh, people bought a lot of merch after the show and even asked for signatures which was pretty funny. Yeah, we had to sign all CDs we've sold so yeah, it was really cool. So next day we moved to another Italian city called Urbania to SCB Club. Um, there was a really cool pizza restaurant, really tasty pizzas. It was a big stage. It was a pretty funny show. I don't think uh, the room wasn't busy and I don't think many people understood good English. So uh, audience interaction was interesting. Yeah. Right guys, they have a good time with us. Okay. And uh, Matt broke a string and then got another guitar and then broke another string. So then fixed another one and then it broke again. So he just kind of gave up and turned into the band Headbanger, which I think added a lot of stage presence. <laughs> yeah, it was really funny to watch the video after the show. But yeah, again, we had a good fun. Yeah, yeah, it was good fun. The promoter or organizer was a really nice guy, he was hilarious. Yeah. So it was cool to hang out with him. Next day we played our last show in Italy. It was in Aosta City. It was like a biker, again biker club. But the atmosphere was good. We haven't expected many people to come because it was Monday. But the ticket was almost packed and the response was really good. People supported well. And yeah, another good gig in Italy. It was kind of funny because um, we were playing and I didn't think there were many people in the room because the lights were kind of really bright in our face. And then at one point where we kind of try and get the audience to get involved, they turned the lights towards them and I realised that we're actually 
loads of people watching, which I didn't <laughs> realise at all. Yeah. And after after the show, we moved to another club where we had to sleep. We played some table football. We ate a few pizzas, drank some beer, had a good time, and went to sleep. Crazy and nasty story as a So then we played our first show in France in Toulon, which was in another biker club again. The place kind of had a weird atmosphere, but there were some good bands playing, and all in all it was a good show. Yeah, a really good fun, and after the show we slept in the house of Inda's band vocalist, Aurel. She's a really nice person. She had a dog. And a cat. Friendly dog. Friendly cat. Yeah. It was cool. And next day we just moved to Spain. Nine hours of driving. That was fun. Yeah.